Hey everybody, my name is Adam, or Impulse Box, and welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on updating your software and finding new software for your computer. The biggest cause of computer troubles that I've found a lot of people to have is simply having out-of-date software for some of your basic software functionality or your utilities or things like Java and things like that. However, getting those updates if you don't exactly know what you're looking for can be kind of confusing. I'm going to open up Firefox real quick and I'm going to search for Java update because that's what most people do. And when I worked at Staples Easy Tech and we fixed other people's computers, this is what we ran into a lot of the time because there's a bajillion different websites that pop up, especially in the advertisements that aren't actually Java's website nor the official Java update. And whatever you download from them is going to be filled with bloatware or adware or even worse viruses. And it's going to be a problem. Instead of clicking the Java download, you have all these other options available to you. Even downloading from places like CNET, Download.com, Softpedia, those places are going to give you launchers that are going to ask you to install a bunch of other software that you're not going to think about. And then suddenly your homepage is hijacked and things like that. So instead of worrying about all that, you can go to a single site that has all the software you could pretty much ever want as far as your basic software to get updates from, and none of them will have viruses or launchers. They're direct downloads from the official websites for all of them, and they stay completely up to date. And the software is all hand-picked, so unlike download.com or Softpedia or things like that, file, uh, software from FileHorse is all going to be actual useful software, not somebody's internet download manager or things like that. It's one of the biggest great advantages by using this, the website's called FileHorse. It's FileHorse.com, is that there's no bloatware, no junkware, no adware, it's just all there. So as my previous example, we can just go straight on the homepage to the Java download. It'll tell you what the latest version is, it'll tell you whether or not they have the latest version, which they pretty much always should, user ratings, who develops it. It even has a list of older versions. So let's say, like this was an issue for Minecraft for a while, if you have a program that needs a certain older version of a software, you can still download it right from FileHorse and they have lots more. And they provide a description of what the software is, tags for it, screenshots for it, so you can see like the installer process and things like that, and then related software. So then when you're ready to download, you just click where it says the file size, safe and secure, download now. Click it, it'll take you to their download page. Wait, it has a countdown timer and boom. That's the direct installer from Java's website. Download and save, and now it's downloading. And then in the meantime, there are related software apps that you can go look. And so this website's also good for finding new software that you'd like to run on your computer. So if we go back to FileHorse's homepage and go over here to more popular software, you can view all the software that people like to use. So you can find people like Avast and AVG as free antivirus. There's Adobe Reader. You can find a new media player like Winamp or a smartphone management tool, Mobo Robo. People like using that because it's popular. And then there's even like a free DJ tool so you can mix and mash your music and all that jazz. WinRAR, which is good for extracting zip files. And then on page three, real quick, you can get Cheat Engine, which is used for developing cheating programs for games. Hotspot Shields to protect yourself while you're out on the wireless in the, in the world. And then Samsung Keys, which is software to transfer, or basically to back up your Samsung smartphone. So there's tons of free software on this website. All clean, all virus free, and it's updated daily, so you always get the most up-to-date versions. So whether or not you're looking for new software, or trying to update your previous versions of software, FileHorse is a good place to go, as it's going to keep you safe, but still give you some great options to go with. It's quick, it's easy to navigate, they even have a search option, so if I want to search for media player, it's going to pop up all the results relating to my search, including even things like iTunes or FUBAR2000, which are very popular options. Media player classic, a good just basic media player. And it's all right here and really easy to navigate. They've got a really clean and just super simplistic design. Now they also have, I've been mainly talking about Windows software, but they also have software for Mac OS X. Boom. Very, very similar list, but all OS X software. So if we go over to Firefox and hit download, see it's going to be a DMG file because that's for OS X. And then they even have web app, cloud app versions. So you have obviously things like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, 
YouTube editor. So let's click YouTube editor. And it's basically going to take you to websites for those apps. Although that one's specifically on YouTube. Look at that. But since they're all handpicked on here, you're not going to end up on any bad website that's going to hijack your browser or give you viruses there either. So it's still a very useful just collection of places you can go on the internet to do specific things. And I think that's really handy and really convenient. If nothing else, just for the Windows apps, but having all of those available is really, really convenient. And they also have a Spanish version of the site if you are a Spanish speaker. So that's how I recommend to get up to date software and get new software for your computer while avoiding bloatware, adware, and viruses and things like that. It is filehorse.com. Link will be in the description below. Obviously, the safest place to download the software would be from the actual creator's website. So iTunes would be from Apple, Java, etc. This website does, of course, download directly from their web, from those companies' websites, so it is totally safe. Um, but it's a lot easier to use a website like this when you just you can search for it and go and not have to worry about, like with my Google example, a bunch of fake websites popping up. And it just serves as a great way of finding new software. Because if we look at latest software releases, basically the apps that have updated most recently, all the stuff that you can use, even 360 security, a CD burner application, an Android emulator, 3D Mark benchmark, instant messenger client, etc. You get my point. I think it's great. I think it's really convenient, and it's something I always recommended when I worked at Staples, like I said, doing easy tech, trying to clean up people's computers. I would always make a shortcut and recommend people this website. That way they stop getting viruses on their computer trying to download basic things, because that was really annoying. So I hope this helps you out a lot. Let me know if it was helpful in the comment section down below and what other things you would like to see tutorials for. I like putting out tutorials for things that help people basically avoid trouble with computers because nothing, nothing's more frustrating than your computer not doing what you want it to. So hopefully this helps you out a little bit. Otherwise, guys, thank you so very much for watching. My name has been Adam, or Vox. Again, let me know tutorial ideas in the comment section down below. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in a future video. Bye-bye.